Hey everybody, I'm so glad you've arrived. I'm Glenn Hausman. Today's video is brought to you by SkyTouch Technology, the hospitality's most innovative cloud-based PMS solution. As the hotel industry gets back to business, SkyTouch, well, they're rolling out all sorts of new features to help your employee productivity and give them the confidence they need to succeed in this new environment. Learn more at skytouchtechnology.com. And also, Please be sure to subscribe to our No Vacancy newsletter. All you got to do is text the word HOTEL to 66866. How easy is that? And also see NoVacancyNews.com. Please like our Facebook page. Subscribe over there um, at YouTube and follow us on LinkedIn. Okay, now on with the news. We've got some good news to report to you coming straight from MMGY Global. Their latest travel research shows significant, and I mean significant, jump in confidence regarding the safety of domestic travel. Despite hotspots continuing to pop up around the country, perceptions for safety of domestic travel, transportation, lodging, and even business travel are at their highest point since the start of the pandemic earlier this year. According to Chris Davidson, an EVP of Insights and Strategy with MMGY, he says they're seeing momentum from summer spurred on by people venturing away from home for the first time in months. Americans are figuring out where they feel comfortable and how they feel comfortable, and it's making them travel more domestically. That's something that we've been saying here at No Vegas News for months, that the biggest issue to get people to travel again is, of course, getting people to travel again. But once they get on the road, well, they're addicted. They want to get back to their old lives and continue to go. As a matter of fact, the domestic travel safety barometer released by MMGY Global says that they experienced a four-point jump in confidence in the safety of domestic travel, which is an increase from 45, from 45 in July to 49 in August. That's great news. The lodging safety barometer, well, that reached an all-time high of 50 as confidence in staying in hotels and resorts continued to rise. That's the highest number we've seen so far. Every month, people are getting more comfortable. Now, when polled about the likelihood of taking a domestic leisure travel trip during the next six months, well, that number increased from 38% to 42% in August. Furthermore, 75% of travelers said they are likely to travel by personal car during the next six months, the highest level, of course, since March. That's great news and gives you out there the tools to appeal to the right target audience. Wanting to travel but a little bit curious about what's going on in the state you plan to visit? Well, the United Airlines has got your back. If you're ready to travel but not sure where to go, they've released a great map where you can quickly check out what quarantine requirements are in certain states and other things that you need to know before you plan that new vacation or business trip. For example, in my home state of New York, uh, United Airlines points out that when they reviewed it last just a few days ago, Entry was allowed with mandatory uh, requirements. Yes, it is limitations. Yes, you uh, you can travel without a, uh, without a certificate from a doctor or negative COVID test result, but you do need to require for 14-day self-quarantine if you are from specific states. There's a list on the site that does that. Other states have absolutely no restrictions. That's why it's incumbent to go check out United Airlines today and see where you can travel from. Great, clever idea. I've been dealing with this in my life. Can I go somewhere? May I not go somewhere? I simply just know I've thrown my hands up because the hassle factor was just too much. Something as easy as a clickable map with beautiful graphics, well, that makes it a lot easier and gets me dreaming of travel again, whether it's going to be for business or pleasure. Fact is, next week, I'm going away on a business trip, and I'm flying out of state, and it was really convenient to see what the limitations would be where I am going. All right, that's today's news for you. I want to thank you all so much for watching today's show. If you're watching on YouTube, please hit that like button. Everyone out there, please share this show. Get the news out. We're here to support you in all of your endeavors, and be sure to check out all of our videos with great interviews from this series. And of course, No Vacancy Live at NoVacancyNews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Glenn Hausman. See you next time.